Hi, welcome to Art Collab with Sarah and Nat. And Nat and Sarah. <laughs> so this is our first episode, which we are calling The Beginning. And um, I thought I'm going to pass the torch to Sarah right away, because that's how I am. Um, how did we meet and why did we do this Art Collab thing? Well, and speaking of Pass the Torch, we came together in the Pass the Brush Challenge. So we were paired up with, um, um, for, I guess, how were we paired up? I think Rachel Bellamy is the one who came up with this. And um, she paired us up. And the goal was that I would take over Nat Page for, what was it, three days or two days? Two yeah, days. Or yeah, maybe it was a week. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> you seem super prepared. <laughs> <laughs> it was two days. It was two days. And I remember sending you like a whole long list of things to um, post at certain times. And um, through our conversations, we did like a lot of different um, Zoom calls and FaceTimes. And we like hit it off. And then when we did our... Instagram live where we just talked for 45 minutes where Nat asked me lots of questions and I asked, I didn't ask any questions. She asked me questions. That's right. And you see, you got me up here talking first. <laughs> well, it was about, past the brush was about um, uh, emphasizing, um, you know, our uh, Black um, sisters and brothers in art yeah. Um, because uh, that was quite shortly after I, I we're as you can tell we're not prepared. But it was, like, it was George Floyd. Hmm? George Floyd. It was exactly thing. And Rachel, um, God bless her. She was, I guess, trying to figure out a way to amplify melon. That's what it's called, amplify melanin voices. So she found. I think a hundred initial hundred um, African American female artists, and she would go through the page, scroll up and down, and just you know meditate on that person, and then she would post you know a little synopsis about them on her page, and she did that for weeks, I believe, and people started to notice and wanted to understand, you know, how do we miss this? How do we not know? that there were, you know, these artists out there using these products and making things. And so she basically shined a, you know, a light on us. And as a result, they put together me and Nat and we collabed <laughs> um, and did our Instagram live and which was amazing. And we hit it off and people really resonated with, our conversation so then we started talking more and then we used to we we haven't done it recently because we've been so busy but we used to do our little art days our art play dates and um we talk and laugh and joke and you're like we, you know what we can do a, a podcast we should do a podcast and i'm like yeah we should but i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah well you were like you were like totally onto that podcast actually you were the one who had that idea you were like let's do a podcast and I was like well you know I had thought about it in the past but I never I don't know I do like collaborations anyway and you know I felt like this would be such a great idea to do it together and then and then from just having the podcast and discussing how you do it I think at some point we were like actually that was also you you were like we should do it on zoom and then I said, we could make it a Zoom cast so that people have different um, possibilities. So we are thinking about, well, we, A, we, you can watch it as a video, but you can also do it as an audio um, for as a podcast. Um, and we thought there would be maybe in the future a third option where you can Zoom in life. <laughs> yeah. And then ask us questions at the end of the conversation or whatever we're going to share with you and talk about. So that's why we call it the Zoom cast, right? Yes. And it's Art Collab. Exactly. Art Collab. 
which is interesting. We talked a little bit about it beforehand, but um, I like to co collaborate with other people because I think it's like really so interesting to hear about others, um, other ideas. And it really inspires me to work um, with other people, especially since this is such a solitude um, thing to do, making art, right? Um, and now with the pandemic, I feel it's like so much nicer to actually have this, your art tribe and your, your pe like your, the people that you like, but also like, I learned so much about you and like, what is, what we do have in common and what we, uh, don't, what are the differences, right? I think it's like so important to learn about it. And the other thing I just wanted to mention about collaborations, I've always admired this kind of like New York school uh, thing where, you know, in the 60s or 40s, 50s, 60s, people would be in New York City would collaborate with art, whether they are painters or poets or dancers, you know, and they would do things, projects together, but also give ideas. And I asked you, Sarah, before how you um, feel about collabs. I mean, we do it, but um, you said some really interesting um, things about it, especially art school and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when I first approached, you know, collaborations with other artists when I was in school, I kind of like, viewed it as like a group project you know when you I, I really just like group projects because it's always a couple of people doing everything and everyone else is just you know riding on the coattails of those people and so it was hard because I didn't understand the people that I was working with and I think I think that's what we get out of our interactions together is because we're we're finding out who each other are and then that helps us do better collaborations because we understand if you don't know the person then you don't know how to collaborate with them and so maybe that's something that you know as we progress with our our actual um zoom cast that we will encourage people to get to know you know that artist friend, and then do the collaboration. It will help. Yeah, and I think there's still some, like, I mean, we don't know each other that long, right? Like, there's still, like, some things that are, um, I remember the first time, actually, we did a real art collaboration was during the pasta brush uh, thing where we each sent uh, each other, if you haven't followed it, you can see it um, still, on uh, Instagram, I think we both uploaded it in our profiles as, as an IGTV video, but we sent each other like uh, a background. And I think the only thing we said was how big it is supposed to be. I think we said letter size paper, yes. start with a background, and then we sent each other the background and we progressed <laughs> from there. <laughs> And I don't know how you felt about it, but I was a little bit, I felt it was intimidating because we were just getting to know each other and we were talking about some very uh, deep topics, uh, of course, right? Um, and then, and then like, what are you, what is, the, what is this going to be? And then I get Sarah's beautiful print and I'm like, I don't want to screw this up. What am I going to do on this? Like, you know, there was this like respect as I don't want to, I don't want to push this totally away. It needs to be there. And also it's so beautiful by itself. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, how do I put my mark on it though as well? So it was, it was a little bit daunting in the beginning. How did you feel about it? Um, I just felt like when I received your your artwork, I was like, this is done. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I said, like, well, I'm just going to add some Sarah Flair on top of there, you know, add some, you know, ketchup or hot sauce and go with it and see what happens. <laughs> It reminded me of um, 
Do you know that um, I I was once um, in the Andy Warhol Museum in Philadelphia, or I don't know, Pittsburgh, I think it is, not Philadelphia. Sorry, guys. It starts with a P, you know. But, <laughs> but um, there was a lot of work that Andy Warhol and... Uh, and uh, Basquiat yes. actually did together. And I was in awe. I loved this so much because on the one, one hand, they were so different, but then on the other hand, they were uh, so uh, close to each other in the way how they made art. Mm-hmm. And though I thought it was so cool and I, I was always intrigued to know like, how did that conversation go? Or how would you, like, be like, I'm going to put something on this Basquiat. You know? Like, you're like, uh, <laughs> right? No, I'm going to be over in the corner. Y- y'all do your thing. I'm not. <laughs> right, I'm not touching this. Right. <laughs> Woo. But they were secure in each other and respected each other, and he just did it. That's a testament to their relationship. So, yeah, that was amazing, and I think that was, um, I think, like for for like exchanging art. I guess it's like you you have to you have to be confident about that. You you don't want to overpower. That's one thing, right? You don't want to overpower the other person's art. You want to make sure that both um, both hands are c- like visible and complement each other, right. which doesn't mean that you have to do the very same um, style of thing, right? Mm-hmm. So we took it a little bit further for this and we were like, well, again, it was a Sarah's idea, actually. You know, I'm like, the, I'm just the one who's like, <laughs> but you had this idea of making a board book and that each of us is filling um, part of the page, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So then it becomes a collaborative book, even though we weren't together. And I was, I was curious to see what would, what would happen uh, if he did this? And so we each ordered our books on Amazon and, you know, filled it out with, filled our half, half the book out and sent it to each other. And so it was like, like Christmas when I got yours. <laughs> Cause I was like, I wonder what's in it. I wonder what's in it. And then, you know, you look at it and I actually didn't, fill it out for a while. I just kept looking at it and trying to figure out, you know, how I'm going to respond to um, what Natalie had put in the book. So yeah, it was a wonderful experience. So we actually have the books here and do we want to go ahead and. Yeah. I thought we would, it would be fun for our first episode to kind of like share um, first, because, okay, so the thing is, we still haven't seen no. what the other person did to our books, right? So Sarah still has my book. She filled it and vice versa. I have Sarah book, Sarah's book and I filled it, but we haven't seen what the other person has done with it. So part of the Zoom cast today is we're going to reveal, but we first want to show what each of us um, has done to the book and tell a little bit what the thought was. So the thing was we we decided to make a book and we decided to fill it with the beginning, but we had no rules. We had no topics. Uh, we didn't say, um, you know, what what's gonna go in there, no material. We didn't talk about materials, techniques, anything. We were free to do whatever we wanted to do, right? So Sarah, why don't you share the beautiful book start that you made with us. So the main theme of this book, if I remember correctly, um, is the stamp that I had carved, um, Good Trouble. This was shortly after um, John Lewis had passed away. And his quote 
you know, really resonated with me. Um, but sometimes I feel like uh, I hide my gifts or I don't outwardly show my whole entire self. So this was my way of pushing myself to get in some good trouble, <laughs> essentially. So, um, this is one of me. So this is the actual quote. Do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. And I used a couple of my art filmings that I designed for this and and then just a regular brayer, like a regular brayer and I use and see so yeah. I use this to mark up the pages with different colors. Um I also use pasta pens and just you know filled it up with color. Um it was going uh, it was like American flag themed as I was making this. Um yeah, so the next one. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. So um, this is another set of art films that I printed along with the brayer. Um, I also did some, um, what do you call it, ghost prints onto the actual quotes um, using one of my art films as well for this one too. And then never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble, John Lewis. And then I used my Black Lives Matter art filmies, again, pasta pens, lots of gray in different colors. I want it to be really free and not constrained buy anything because I think that's what I don't know what he is trying to say not be constrained by rules you know you need to be able to say what you mean meaning what you say and um, basically make sure people understand that you are important and that your life matters so that's why and it with the Black Lives Matter. When I got um, Sarah's book, it was just really amazing to hold it in my hand. I mean, you see, it's right here. Okay. So when I got the book, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And um, I forgot when, when we um, sent it out, but it was... Um, in November, I guess, or yeah. yeah, October. It was before the election. Right. So, you know, I had it, I had it in my hand. I was very uh, touched by it too. And <clears throat> I had all kinds of thoughts of what I would wanted to do with it. Like, I was like, well, should I, you know, at uh, maybe a quote uh, from um, some of the resistance fighters or, you know, people like Bonhoeff, who was a priest in, um, in Germany during World War II and was actually killed by the Nazis. And he wrote, um, a, you know, a lot of letters. And there's a book that I just read about him. And he did say a lot of wonderful quotes about not being quiet in a time of, you know, where it's important to say something. And, you know, I had all these thoughts of what I would do with it, but I, I wasn't sure what would actually be the right thing um, to add to the book. And it took me a lot of time um, until actually the inauguration. And when I saw Amanda Gorman's, uh, Amanda Gorman at the inauguration, um, you know, with her beautiful, beautiful poem, I thought this would be the right thing to add uh, to this book. Um, I think those two, it was for me like, uh, you know, 
young and old, uh, both activists in their own way. Um, and her, her, you know, what she said just touched me so deeply. So I'm not even going to read it, really, because I cannot be Amanda Gorman <laughs> by, by saying her beautiful words, um, but maybe. So I took a part of her, um, the last, um, you know, like the end of her poem, and it, it said, so let us leave behind a country better than the one that we were left with. Every breath from my bronze pounded chest, we will rise this wounded world into a wondrous one. Sorry for my accent, guys, but that's what it is. Um, <laughs> so I used, you know, also I tried to do it in a little bit, not the same style, but kind of like very loose, made a background and then added some of my uh, art foamy stems, uh, but also some marks. Um, you know, with a brush and stems. And then this continues. Uh, we will rise from the gold limbed hills of the west. We will rise from the windswept northeast. We will rise from the lake rimmed cities of the Midwestern states. We will rise from the sun baked south. We will rebuild, reconcile, and recover every corner called our country, of our nation, and every known nook and our people diverse and beautiful will emerge, bettered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. So be the light is the end. So it's like good trouble and be the light. That's how I finished the book. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not so good at reading the poem, but you got to watch Amanda Gorman. <laughs> she can do it better. <laughs> it's beautiful, Natalie. Oh, Sarah. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it going to make me cry, but wow. That was amazing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now you make me cry too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I think for me it was such a, you know, from the um I don't know, it was such a climax. And I felt that book, like putting those two poems together for me was like a natural thing to do from where that came from in the moment, how I felt um, about things being to how I felt, you know, listening to the words of Amanda Gorman. Yeah. Um, so I thought they need to be together. <laughs> It was, it was so good. <laughs> so good. Aw. Well, it's going to go in the mail. Back to you soon. <laughs> awesome. All right. So is it my turn? Oh, no. You have to show what you did. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So I thought because, you know, uh, we were still in this stage of getting to know each other. And every time we would have uh, our Zoom calls and play dates, we would be like, oh, I like elephants. I like elephants too, you know? Like, <laughs> and it, we would find out things about it, you know, ourselves that we have in common and we don't. And I thought it would be fun to kind of like list maybe some things. Um, I mean, some things were obvious. <laughs> But some things are not, you know, and I thought, you know, how about we share some stuff, random stuff about ourselves and see um, what we have in common um, or not. And so I did this um, actually by gel printing. You, most of the pages were um, gel printed backgrounds with stems. Um, and then I, you know, I added some collage at some of them. 
Um, so, oops. Oh, okay. So I didn't know if uh, Sarah would know I'm also half Italian. My father was Italian, so I did that. Did a peeled off wallpaper look uh, like background here um, with some um, stamps and stencils. And then I have had found this like really old um, stamp in Germany. I, uh, it's actually a, um, a metal stamp. And Sarah and I had talked about, you know, how you can use it even without having like a real uh, press for it. So I tried that and um, I love stamps. I kind of like knew that Sarah probably will say that too. <laughs> and then um, that I love art books. So I did a little uh, magazine print of, of our um, mono print of a book um with Basquiat on there and the book of symbols and like like grunge too I should edit that there too <laughs> and I love old wallpaper which is a random thing but it's random stuff so it had to be in the book right and I do not like kale again very random and I wonder sometimes who does so <laughs> Um, and of course, I love um, city life, and that was um, that was a carved stamp that I did a long time ago um, that I added here um, to the page, and um, that's that's it. That's what I sent Sarah. All right, so this is the cover that Natalie put together. And essentially, I just answered the questions, or not a question, but I kind of like took what she said and kind of put myself into it. So, Thora so says, Nat is half Italian. Sarah is 89% African. And here's why I know this. <laughs> it's because I did the Ancestry DNA. <laughs> um, I am also 5% Irish. I didn't put it on here, 5% Irish. So, and there's a whole other thing, a whole long list of other things. So, but the funny thing is about the ancestors DNA is from time to time when they get what they call, I guess, more precise, they update the numbers. So, oh, wow. yeah, this has changed before. <laughs> So right now, as of right this second, I can say, based on a probability, that I am 89% African. Be but I can buy um, the stamp that I carved, the, the scallop stamp like yours. Uh. And, um, and then I layered it. So it's actually going one direction and going this direction. And then I added the little bullseyes on there. Very cool. And then the second one, this is Nat loves stamps. And then three, Sarah loves making stamps <laughs> and layering them. So this is um, one stamp that I layered, starting with yellow, going all the way up to uh, magenta and then blue and just mixed it up. So and cool. For the next one. Matt loves art books. Sarah loves artist books. <laughs> so I use my love stamp in different directions. Mm -hmm. Three different colors. And, um, and then the next one, Matt loves old wallpaper. <laughs> vintage wallpaper, which is the same thing. <laughs> this is so cool. But I use this stamp. I actually, um, I made this uh, from a tile. I believe the person was in Spain. I was following them on Instagram and they posted it. And I loved it so much that uh, I made a stamp out of it. And maybe this will be a future art for me. I don't know. I have to keep cleaning it up and figuring out exactly how I want it because I eventually want to print it on the wall. So that's where I'm at. Very cool. And then... 
Nat does does not like kale. <laughs> Nine. Sarah likes kale in a fruit smoothie, which means I don't like kale. <laughs> It has to be covered up with sugar and fruit and all sorts of things in order for me to actually drink it. You understand? <laughs> so, yes. That's funny. And then Nat loves city life. Sarah was born in New York City. So I made this specific oh. for this book. Um, I love this. And, um, I accidentally, when I was printing this side, did a thumbprint over here. So I just added. <laughs> you know, it's so funny when I showed it. I was like, wait a second. I don't remember doing that on the top and the bottom. Is it because I did like this? And I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my thumbprint. So I was like, I can't leave that there. I have to do something. <laughs> Oh, I did. I love it. Aww. And then the end. Aww. Aww. This is so cool. So this will be going home to you. Oh my God. I can't wait. This is so beautiful. Mm. And I love, so if you, like, if you had it, like, sitting up, you see? Yeah. I love that, you know, the sculptural um, thing about books. You know, you could set it, set it up and I don't know. I just love this. This is my favorite. I did not expect that. Like you have this idea and then you're like, I wonder what she's going to make with that. <laughs> like, but you don't know. <laughs> yeah, the, you have to trust. Exactly. It's going to be okay. And I respect you, you respect me, and we did it. <laughs> so that was our big reveal, man. We did, oh. as you can tell, we didn't we didn't know what the other person did. That was hard for us to keep that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> because there have been days that we would do our um our art play dates and the book would be like on my desk. And I'm like, oh, let me put this away. <laughs> Actually worked on my book while we were doing some of our play dates. That's true. We did do that. Yeah. And it was like, I was like, should we should we show it? And Sarah's like, no. Natalie, no. <laughs> she didn't say it like that. But you're gonna be surprised. <laughs> exactly. No spoilers. <laughs> I think that was like so. I I don't know. I mean, it, it could be that no one else but us finds this interesting, but I found it was so enriching too, because it's like you get it in the mail, you open up the thing, you're like, oh my God, this is so cool. And then actually even to have it let sit, I mean, whether it be, you know, because the outside world has been crazy or because you had to think about how you want to approach it or all of it together. Like I thought it was the whole experience. Um, it was like a, a long experience, right? Yeah. Prolonged, which was cool. The yeah. suspense. <laughs> the patience. We actually had patience, you know? I can't believe that. That's like patience. Like. Well, I I don't use that often. <laughs> no, I mean, like, in a dictionary, my name does not be written next to patience, you know? It's not like patience, that's Natalie. It's like, uh-uh. <laughs> you know, I always say this, it's like, I store my patience behind glass, so I have to get it out when it's an emergency. Yes. <laughs> I, will buy, I will buy a gift and I should not buy gifts like too long before the recipient gets it because I will be like, it will start like, I have something for you. I have something for you to the, actually spilling the beans like right before I actually give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Like you'll like this. You've been wanting this forever. <laughs> <laughs> So this was hard for us. Yeah. It's really hard, but it was worth it. It was. 
You got me to cry, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> On camera, so now this is going to be for everybody to see. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> reaction hey you know like it's good i really love this we got to do this again this was super fun i want to do it again <laughs> we actually have we will do this again we will we will think of something new but we already have um something we will talk about in our next episode yes and that's our next collaboration yes and that's coming in april yes and that is? We're not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> well, they do. Well, they will know a little bit before we do the Zoom cast. That's true. That's true. So you want to give them a hint? Because we're not patient. We have to spill the beans, right? Okay. You, you do give them a hint then. I'll okay. The hint know. is... <laughs> We have something where you can work with us next month. It's a challenge. And we will, we will post it soon. Mm -hmm. And then we will have our Zoom cast in the beginning of April. And we'll share why, how, and what we did so far. Yeah. And... We might do this in life. <laughs> might. No, so I'm like, no, no. You said we're going to do it live. Let's do it live. Hey, okay. We're going to do this live. And you can, if you want to, you don't have to, you can join us. Yeah. And then uh, you can ask us questions in the, at the end and we can answer some of them, maybe. Yeah. Some scary. <laughs> if some of the questions, the ones that are not scary, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this first episode of our art collab with Sarah and Nat. Nat and Sarah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.